Welcome to this channel on engineering mathematics. If you like the content of this channel, please press the like button and subscribe. Once you subscribe, you will be notified when new videos are added. The topic of engineering mathematics is important, as these techniques are extensively used in all branches of engineering and physics. There are many classic textbooks, here are a few. The purpose of this channel is to provide you with a solid understanding on all of these topics, very quickly and lucidly. There are 9 distinct areas that we will cover with multiple videos for each of these topics. In topic 1, we begin by understanding functions, concepts of limits, and a couple of intuitive theorems. Then we understand the concept of derivatives and various techniques associated with it. This is followed by a study of antiderivatives, or integrals, and the various techniques associated with integration. This leads us to topic 2, that is, the topic of ordinary differential equations, techniques for solving first order differential equations. Followed by second order differential equations and a study of the power series. Next we develop a qualitative understanding of the solutions. This leads us to higher order differential equations, legend of polynomials and Bessel's equations. Topic 3 is all about integral transforms. We begin with Laplace transforms, its definition, techniques for computing Laplace transforms, its use in solving ordinary differential equations, and the usefulness of transfer functions. The Dirac delta function is introduced, and useful techniques for differentiation and integration of Laplace transforms are shown. This paves the way for introducing a very important concept known as Green's function. Fourier transforms are an extremely important technique that finds wide usage in signal processing and many other areas of engineering. The sturm liouville equation is an important equation that has multiple applications. In topic 4, we study partial differential equations and common techniques for solving such equations. We also get introduced to the concept of calculus of variations, the concept of a functional, the Euler-Lagrange equation, the Beltrami identity, and an interesting problem known as the brichester crohn problem. Topic 5 is all about complex analysis, definition of analytic functions. The Green's theorem that we studied earlier will lead to Cauchy-Riemann equations and Laplace equations. We establish rules for complex line integrals and prove Cauchy integral theorem, an important concept. We discuss power series for complex variables and introduce Lohan series, singularities, and integration with residues. Topic 6 is about linear algebra, existence and solution of systems of equations, matrices and determinants, I gain values and I gain vectors. We also study vector calculus and introduce various concepts such as grad, divergence, curl, that come in handy in solving many engineering problems. There are many engineering problems where it is not possible to find closed form analytical solutions. Topic 7 is all about numerical methods and computational techniques. In almost all the topics that we have studied so far, these techniques are widely used in computer simulation of various phenomena. In topic 8, we introduce basic concepts of probability and statistics, various probability distributions, sampling and estimation, establishing confidence limits, and the concept of hypothesis testing. And finally, in topic 9, we introduce curvilinear coordinate systems, the concept of a tensor, concise notations, geometric representation, 
and a fundamental metric. We introduce tensor calculus, covariant differentiation and the Riemann-Christoffel tensor. These concepts are useful in curved spaces and have been used in the general theory of relativity. It is highly recommended that you supplement these lectures by reading relevant chapters from textbooks of your choice. The purpose of these lectures is to provide you with a jump start and not at replacing the classic textbooks. Also, it is super important to note that solving problem sets in the textbooks is an absolute must to gain a mastery over the various topics. We are now ready to begin our journey. In the next video, we start with the concept of functions and limits.